Ghost didn't get to die with anybody. Ghost died alone. He did. That nigga died on the floor. Old floor. Son homie. killed him. That nigga is son, which hurt me. Ask this question, but I know they want us on, so I'm asking for them. So it, so it, I know that y'all don't, you have to ask me. Sometimes I'm like, damn, is Courtney fielding these questions today? Is star, you know, are the execs and stars, or is Curtis fielding these questions? And for real, it just be, I feel like it's just me fielding these questions because I'm with y'all in this sense. I'm with you in the sense that the way the story was sold and told to me is not befitting of the way it ended, guys. What a time to be alive. Woo! All right, y'all. So, for today's video and topic, not even topic, but it's more of a discussion because, you know, I've seen that that Omari Hardwick, I was going to say James St. Patrick. <laughs> I've seen that Omari Hardwick, I guess, staged, I guess, another interview when he was talking. And he was just like, you know, I'm with you guys, you know, about the whole um, ghost situation, right? And then he was just, you know, basically saying like, you know, you can support the character, you can like the character, but, you know, support me as the actor who played the character, which was a nice little segment in touch, which was, which is true, because it's like, you know, we all loved him for the character that he plays, but it's just like, you know, we have to look at the man that he, you know, who played the character, right? Now, here's the thing, here's the thing. So, we've seen this with um, Joey Badass, we've seen him with him. Where it was like, oh, he told people, like, when they was interviewing him, I think even TMZ or whoever at the time, when this character died. And it caught us off guard. We was really surprised and shocked. All of us was. We was like, wait, wait, Unique is dead? This quick? Because it felt out of place and out of order. Where it was like, okay, you bring in this new character, Ronnie, and he kills him. And it just, again, we was like, oh, this soon? This quick? Like, it didn't feel right. Like, it felt like... Unique had more left. Like, he could have done more. He should have done more. And the actor who plays as Ronnie, he, he's, I guess his new show is already starting up, I think, soon. Right? So, we like, okay, he's not going to be a, a series regular. He's going to just be here for the season, and then that's it. We was probably thinking with Ronnie's character, either he would have died, or they probably, he just would have went off somewhere, and then once when maybe his show was finished... Then he probably would have came back to you know raising Kanan or whatever and caused more mischief, but that wasn't the case because Kanan shoots him at the end, so that's the end of Ronnie's character. But Unique's character surprisingly returned, and we was like, oh, Unique's alive. Okay, cool, we're happy. Now, I uh, I think what it is when it comes down to like you know uh, Omari Hardwick and everything in general. I mean, we've always. We've always said this, and I've always said this, when it came down to, like, you know, bringing back the character, what you should do, what they could do, uh, either alive or dead or whatever. But, I mean, they've been so good at spinning this whole narrative that, you know, he's not coming back. I feel like this could be two things. Something. Wh like, whoever's in charge, right, could be, you know, pulling off this one big swerve. And it's just like, hold up, guess who's guess who's back or guess who's you know ready to show his face again and we like oh my god because again we've all thought that during like the hallucination of Tariq and everybody had their theories everybody had their theories about it about the whole hallucination with Tariq and it was like yeah ghost is gonna and we was sort of people was let down and people was disappointed because it was like we didn't want to see this we wanted to see ghosts but I feel like what they're doing is, it's like at the end of the at the end of our rope, they kind of like loosen us in even tightly and even closer into like the grand finale and the final climax of the final season and series of Power Book Two Ghosts. When we're gonna see something really interesting, uh, like we're gonna see something really interesting that's gonna surprise us because that's what it really is, and it's like a big surprise and it's gonna be like a big reveal, like hey guess who's finally here right and it's gonna be like oh my god and it and that's what's gonna probably like set off like power book two ghosts is probably like being like one of the final uh episodes to be like this is what we've waited for this is what we've waited for for so long and we finally gotten it 
right? And despite, you know, Amari Hardwick going out there saying what he needs to say, I feel like this could be what he was intended to do. Like, what if? I'm just saying, what if, what if? He was intended to go out there and say, hey, um, you know, what they did with my character. Now, granted, it is true, though. Because he did have ideas for what he wanted to, to know, you know, uh, uh, what you call it. The Romeo, no, not Romeo and Juliet. Fuck. <laughs> he wanted to, like, basically go out in a way where it was like, I guess he died like old sons killing fathers. That's not what he wanted. He, he rather had it where he was either alive or a different ending. Like, he had ideas for, for the character and what should have been for, like, Ghost, right? Rather than what we got, which is true. I, I can fully believe him on that. But I think of him wanting to come back, because here's the thing. There was never really, like, a cross of, oh, Ghost is dead. Like, everybody else got, I guess, uh, dotted off, dotted out uh, crosses, right, to confirm, like, oh, they dead, they never coming back. Right, because Zeke had one, I believe. Mecca had one. Uh, other characters who died had, like, crosses or whatever at the time to in insinuate, okay, they're not coming back at all. But Ghost never really had one, right? So the, it, it, that's when it left off, like, the big hint, like, wait, 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 wait. He didn't have, like, a confirmation, even though despite what we've seen towards the ending. And, I mean, a lot of people kept on saying it. It was just like, no, Tariq shot the man. He, he shot him. He's dead. He shot him. He's dead. And then... As we've seen, Amari Hardwick is on interviews, and he's just saying that, you know, if I had it my way, things could have been different or whatever. But, again, that's what everybody's, like, literally waiting on, like, towards the ending of this final uh, season. Because they have one final chance to get this right and have Amari Hardwick show up as ghost, either alive or dead, right? And if they don't, then it's going to only dispel, like, okay, you're going to give us power origins. People are still going to be happy for the show, but they're going to be like, uh, if Ghost ain't narrating it, but but here's what I was seeing. People want him not only narrating it, but they also want him to be alive and power a book to Ghost as well. So they like, it's not fair. See, Kanan was acceptable. Sometimes when there ain't shit left to say, you got to let your hands talk for you. Because Kanan, we, we know what happened. He went out like a badass. Killing cops, he went out like a badass. So it's perfectly fine for him to narrate raising, like, you know, his younger character. That's perfect. That's fine. I have no complaints. I don't even think I've heard anybody else complain about this. That's perfect. But for Ghost, it's like, um, again, they want they want their cake. People want their cake and eat it too. Because, again, they just want to see this man, like, either show up, either help Tariq, or he just shows up. At the end, or whatever, he's doing something, or he forgives Tariq, it's whatever. But people want to see that at the end. So, again, I'm thinking two things about everything that was going on with, like, Omari Hardwick and, and the whole interviews thing. All the interviews he's done in the past and all the interviews he's done in the present and what all of this can actually mean. And I'm thinking two, two things, two things. Either one, this final season, the finale, he's going to appear... Um, you, you say his name three times in the mirror, he's going to appear, that's it. He's going to finally come back, and everybody's going to be happy and satisfied, either as a ghost or alive, right? Or two, you know, he said all these things in an interview. Um, he's not coming back at all. Everybody's going to have to accept it. <laughs> and then to finally put this, you know, ghost alive business to, to rest, he's done, it's done. And we just gonna have to watch Power Origins. Be pissed off about Power Book Two Ghost, about what happened at the end. Uh, again, you can like certain things about the show, but people was really holding on to the fact that Ghost was coming back, and for it to be like a complete letdown and a, basically a fuck you to the fans. And we just gonna use Ghost's name to keep the legacy alive for all these other shows. Again, that would be a lot of that. That would be on some scumbag shit and really scummy. If they actually just done that and there's no ghost at the end, people would be pissed. And I wouldn't be surprised if people would just be like, eh. It, despite Power Origins and wanting to see maybe a younger ghost, they'd probably be like, you know what, fuck this shit. I don't want she to just fuck this shit. Because keep in mind, keep in mind, when Power Book 2 Ghost even first debuted, right? Everybody was so in love with Power. They was like, they didn't want to see this shit. I was one of those people. I was just like, when, when it came about, I was like... I didn't want to see Tariq. I was like, man, this uh, oh man, because Ghost had me. He pulled my interest. He had me more. I was like, Tariq. I was like, 
And then as I genuinely, that's all right, fuck it. Let me just, let me just watch it. Then I, I genuinely started watching it, and I was like, oh, all right, this little motherfucker, all right. And then he was slowly, like, winning me over. Just a little bit, just a little bit. It's just like, I, I'm like, all right, he's, he's doing something. It doesn't mean that I may agree with certain things that he's done because again i will still always say this Tariq is the dumbest character in tv history he's still well one of the dumbest i should say one of the dumbest one of the dumbest because it's like you know he had a life again he was corrupted and mine was poisoned by you know kane and natasha right but it's just like he had things and he pissed it all away. And then even after when Ghost is deaf and he had the trust fund, he pissed it away. So it's like he's still stupid. Still stupid. Now, people can give him credit or try to come to his defense like, nah, gang, he young. He young. He Listen, if this man is old enough to blast inside females and get them pregnant and kill people, he's not, he's, he's not a baby. Stop it. Stop it. He's not a baby. That talking crazy. So I'm just like, you know, it it kind of like rubs me the wrong way. But again, we're going to see towards the final season of Power. What's going to really happen at the end? Is he coming back? Or, or we all have to put this to rest and be like, you know, it was a lifetime ago. Power was the greatest show. One of the greatest shows to have ever came out. And my scaling of Power was near perfection. Um, Power Book 2 Ghosts. Mm. But we'll see. Let me know in the comment section down below. Everything. What you guys think? You think that this is it? Um, he ain't coming back at all. Everybody just gotta put this nonsense to rest and be like, you know what? Fuck it. I, I just watch Power Origins and accept what I see from there and um, finish off the rest of Power Book 2 Ghosts. And that, you know what? I'm holding on hope. I think that the man is going to return. Um, and that's the, and the only reason why I've watched Power Book 2 Ghost. It, just to see him make a return. Because a lot of people did say that too. That the only reason why they're watching Power Book 2 Ghost is for a ghost to return. Some people just don't care for Tariq like that. Which is still fair. Right? Because they figure he's still an idiot. And he's been trying to say things about ghosts that he's have surpassed him. And he's smarter than him. Which he said in season three, which is certainly not the case. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. But this is basically the final stop. This is the last chance. September the 6th, all the way up to what? I think October, November. So again, we're going to see. We are going to see. But you know, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will catch you all in the next one.